I tend to have problems. When I like something, boy, I go all out and it sinks in for 11 years and we make a YouTube channel with 600,000 subscribers to help feed the addiction. Yes? Yes. <laughs> so, I wanted 3D printers that worked. like eight years ago and they kind of worked. But then this came into my life around Christmas time. And since Christmas of 2024, that's what this, this is there, but it didn't happen in that order. We went into a couple A1s and then we got the Elegoo here. And, yeah. the, 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 and, and now we got the A1 mini with AMS combo. And guys, I'm so glad we have this. I just printed earlier today this amazing, it messed up sadly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not so amazing. No, but we'll print it again. It's an amazing recorder. How stinking cool is that? I played a recorder when I was in school. How cool would it have been? Maybe it goes like this. I'm not exactly sure. If you had a dragon scale multicolor recorder instead of that stupid plain <laughs> ugly one when I... <laughs> and, and we're so addicted to all these. Oh, listen to this. Listen. Everybody's dogs just started barking. All right. And there's water in here. Listen, I printed this in one piece on the A1 Mini earlier today, and I put water in there as a water whistle. Yeah, let's do it. Here, let's go. So I printed this for Amelia. I got that. I got that. I got that. Abby, you've never done it before, have you? Just pull it up. It's magnetic. Okay, try not to touch the top of the bed. Oh, just, just pry it open. Yeah. Oh okay, now gosh. pry it around, bend it. Is it coming off yet? Oh. There you go. Hey, good job. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah. Great, and then this has supports on it, and you know how to pop the supports off, right? Yep. Yeah. That's so fun. You can talk while I do this. Yeah. <laughs> so the point is, we have just been having a blast with it. I make fun, kind of intricate things on there, multicolor, stuff for the kids, and, you know, long prints that I need to print well. <laughs> and unfortunately, that's just the reality of it. Sometimes, every now and then, they don't. And it's it's most likely something with the actual Well, these file. supports are... You Fine. know what though? That's what these are for. Here you go. Use those. Thanks. And I got other little micro pliers. The drawer of junk. <clears throat> See? So I was at least pulling that stuff off. That's kind of the whole point of getting this for family fun prints. Oops. And it is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Abby loves seeing the stuff that I come up with, like this articulated dragon. Look at this. This thing printed in one piece on the standard A1, and it is just so stinking cool. It looks amazing. It's addicting to move around and play with and pose different ways. It wraps around your neck. <laughs> it is super fun. This was a blast right around Christmas, and I invented a couple things, like my sunshade for my transmitters, okay? That was really cool, but I realized if I'm printing these and they take a couple hours each, I can't be printing things for fun. So I got myself an A1 and another A1 to keep busy, right? And, and they do stay pretty busy for my single color prints, although they can do multicolor with the AMS. Then I just wanted to check out another brand too and see how that, by the way, it's super loud. Oh my gosh, it's the loudest machine in the house. And uh, I've been curious about this and curious about it. And it's been on back order for months and it finally came in. And I'm so glad that we have it because even though it has a small print bed, it's just as capable, just as mighty in a mini form factor. <laughs> That's uh, from the bird. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and we've been printing some crazy cool stuff. I'll show you some things. Um, yeah, sometimes a knife is good on that and a twist is good. There, you're getting it. Okay, do you need me to hold the camera? Yeah, again? please. Oh, okay. It's addicting though, isn't it? Even just peeling the stuff off. It's all my stuff. Isn't she going to love that? That's for Amelia, <laughs> obviously. Cute. I, love it. <laughs> I didn't know it had the clouds, honestly. That's I thought neat. it was just the unicorn. Look at these. Hang on, I'm These are like sharp and scary. Whoever designed that. Ooh. Yeah, just super fun stuff. And look at this dragon egg. It is absolutely beautiful with that filament that I used. I will link this filament in the description box for you guys to check out. Look at this one. That two tone on that poly dragon egg is so cool. And simple, the A1 did this one, but Look at that. I mean, it's a textured print. I think that's really artistic looking, kind of like these. We're just getting ready 
for Easter, right? I mean, look at that. That looks like something you would buy out of a store. The A1 Mini printed that. That is a really high quality print for one single color. I'm absolutely in love. This also came off the A1 Mini. These little guys, they're bonbon holders. You know those little gold bonbon chocolates? They're not called bonbons, but I can't think of the name. I call them bonbons. But this is insane. To be able to take a little strand of weed eater string filament and to turn it into that. I love how that's like ribbed, right? Would you say that's like a just an art, artistic design to it but it can also make this kind of texture just based on how that print head moves and then this is silky smooth this looks like a cookie cutter or something but then you get these poly shapes and to think that it all comes off of basically the same machine even these ninja stars i mean it is fun i used to fold ninja stars out of paper when i was a kid if i had one of these as a kid who knows, I'd probably be living on the moon today or something. <laughs> the A1 Mini though, you can just put, you don't have to have the AMS. This is a multicolor print ability, right? Or you can just even have four of the same color on here if you want. And the cool thing about it is when it runs out, it'll just start going into the next one, which is really cool. Now there are some features about this printer that set it apart from others that I really like, which is namely the ease of use. The It's so beginner friendly, anybody can put this together in an hour or less and then plug it in, connect it to your Wi-Fi, connect the app and start printing. It also comes with a few things. And even look, it's telling me it's time to lubricate the Y axis. So even general maintenance it's letting me know to do it. And then if I scan that QR code, it'll show me a video on how to do it. Everything is so self-explanatory with this though, and it's just very easy to use. As I navigate through the menu, I can select things that I previously printed and some of the files that come on it. So if I wanted to print that bird again, it's just as easy as picking the bird. And then I will hit next, and I imagine it'll ask what color. I touch what color and it will print. I think it's crazy that it knows. It does. Okay, and I'm so glad you pointed that out. See this guy? I figured it has a scanner. Yeah, so this is an off-brand, and honestly, I mean genuinely, not a good filament. It's very brittle. Watch, it should, a lot of times you try to bend it and see it gets really weak points, and sometimes it'll just snap and break too. So, not a great filament, and, I, and it just did that while I was pulling that off there. <laughs> but, their brand of filament, which doesn't cost maybe a dollar more on average. I mean, it's next to nothing in comparison to the total price. Has these little chips in the side of the spool and there's a chip reader on each one of these. So as it spins around, it knows exactly not only what color is in there, but these are matte colors. This is like a silk color. If I had a different type of filament like ASA or PETG, PETG, it would know and then it reacts printing the right way. Like this special, there's a special support filament that you can put in. So anytime it's printing the support, it will use the support filament and switch to it intelligently. And it already knows that it's in there. I think the main thing that I want to talk about with the A1 Mini is it's extremely easy to use and especially if you do not get the AMS, the form factor is very small and takes up very little space. And it's so easy to use, anybody can get into 3D printing and expect and get high return print results. In other words, high success rate print results. I plugged this puppy in and I have not knock on wood, had a failed print yet. I found this on the app and just by scrolling through because my daughter loves unicorns, this is a free upload that someone had on there. I click it on the phone and it downloads right to the printer. It's that easy to use. The touch screen is fantastic. It comes with a micro SD card. The only complaint people generally have about the A1 Mini is the print bed size because it's about half the size of other larger printers. But the cool thing about this system is if you get more advanced with it, and it's not even that advanced of a maneuver to do, you can take prints and position them differently on the print bed so that even this guy, look at this. If you adjust it in your printer, <laughs> okay, you can still have a 
that's pretty close. I didn't even, I, you know, maybe could have tightened it up a little <laughs> bit more. But also, let's say this unicorn. Okay, sometimes you can use your program to slice it in half and still print it in two pieces and then glue it together when you're done. So that's another option as well. That's a nice hell pad, Nathan. Well, thank you. Yeah. RC stuff. It's packed full of the same features down to the Wi-Fi camera. If you want to check in on it while it's printing, you can see a live feed. It's not like a high frame rate, you know, high definition feed, but you can at least see if your print has failed and hit stop if it didn't detect it on its own. It also has a little light on its own. I'll show you. It's believe it or not, this mini has a brighter light than the Elegoo up there. Yeah, you, know, you can see there's a light. So if I walk down here in the pitch black and, and I just want to see if the print is still going. I don't have to turn on all my shop lights just to see if that's still going. It has every single feature that the big versions have, minus the enclosure. The enclosure really lets you have the ability to print other types of materials, more than what this can do. But if you're just interested in printing the simple, easy materials like PLA and silks and stuff, like I enjoy printing just for toys for myself, for the kids, and even some useful things like landing gear, uh, snow skis for my RC planes, and sunshades for my transmitter, you know, this is able to do all that. And check that out, I can print a couple of those at a time. I'll bet I could, I'll bet I could do four on there. Isn't that cool? That is cool. With the AMS, it's not extremely cheap because of the high performance. Without the AMS, if you just want to print in one color prints, this is an extremely affordable option to get into the 3D printer world. It often goes on sale around holidays and stuff too. And the cool thing is, if you use our link in the description box below, you help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. I hope you guys have enjoyed my 3D printer adventures and I'm still at just the tip of the iceberg and really enjoying the whole process a lot. If you're a regular 3D printer person and you enjoy this kind of content, I would ask that you please, on your next filament order, click our link and order your filament through our link and we'll make it a dollar or two and it won't cost you a single extra penny but it helps to support our channel and our family now i know you see it back there the p1s the main reason i wanted to pick that one up is actually more of a direct comparison to the elegoo yeah i know the price isn't an exact comparison but you know they're really kind of going at each other and then i also wanted to compare for my friend's sake too because some have asked like roger how does it stack up directly to the x1 carbon and you know i'm so glad i have the x1 carbon but also this is a more of a budget friendly option as well so uh, later down the road we anticipate to have a video on the p1s after i use it some i don't like to just i could talk about it but i still got to run a lot of tests on it to make sure it's worth coming to the channel all the good stuff will be linked in the description box below. I want to say a massive thanks to God for blessing us with the time to jump in front of the camera today and share this experience with you guys. Also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your insanely awesome support. If you like 3D printer videos, we have a printer video on the A1, the X1 Carbon, even the Elegoo, and we'll have one of those videos popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.